huh? Welcome back peddlers, I'm Lex the Pelling Dutchman and welcome to another vlog. Now before we get into some kayaking, first let's go clean some shit up. I don't know how you usually put away your ratchet straps or your straps, but this is usually the way I end up storing them, just dumping them in the car and having to unknot and untie this mess whenever I want to tie up my boat. Not anymore, because this weekend Alex showed me a trick which blew my mind, so let's go and do that. Finally. The way to start this off is you take your strap and make sure it's nice and flat and you double it over like this. Making sure you have, I don't know, maybe about a foot extra. Nice and flat again. And you go back to the end and you just start rolling it. Before you start rolling it, unlike me, check that you will end up with the buckle on top. So I need to roll this the other way around. One eternity later. If you did it correctly, you will end up with something looking like this. So with the buckle on top and with the extra piece of strap underneath it. And what you wanna do is you wanna feed the other end through the underside of the buckle. All the way around the, the roll you made and feed it through the buckle. And this is a lot easier if you leave yourself a little bit more strap than I did, but I think I'll manage. And that way you end up with a super nice and tightly packed and neatly stored away ratchet strap. And in that way you can go from this to this. So last week I was super stoked when I got a text message from Alex. While there is still no word on the cure for the virus, government officials report the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. The virus seems to be making people uncontrollably violent and also somehow seems to be reanimating the dead. When asked on what accounts focus with the economy on whether or not this was saying that the Whitewater course, which is one of the, I think the only one left in the Netherlands, like a man-made Whitewater course in Hardenberg was open again because it had been closed due to Corona for a long time. And so we finally had the chance to go and check it out, which was really fun. And again, it's not the most exciting whitewater there is. It's a man-made course. It's a really simple course, but it still has just like the Halfweg, like the pumping station that we did, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. It still has a lot of cool features where you can train on and practice on. It has a few really, really nice waves, some drops. We could practice some boofing. Overall, it was a super fun day. We were only with the three of us, so I don't think a lot of people knew that it was open. It was quite a long drive. It was about two and a half hours, something like that. So we jumped in the car, tied on the boats, no, let's first tie up the boats, then jump in the car. Drove all the way to Hardeberg and we just had some fun. Let's go check it out. I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go.
pains Cause you proved to me yeah. That rising to the top was my destiny yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me But I'm still fly I'm still fly I know I'm still fly I'm still fly Let's go God, the cable was in front of it. What's the cable in front of it all the time? Lex from the past. Why don't you fix the cable on the GoPro? Yeah. So that was Hardeberg. It was a lot of fun. If it keeps turning, we'll come back again, definitely. And then I'm gonna do the booth. I'm gonna do the booth. Because I'm an hour booth. I'm here with our booth. Boop! Our boop! Boop! <laughs> <laughs> and now it really is time to go home. As you can tell, it's not the most exciting track, but again, it was really fun to practice on it. We spent a good hour or two just playing in the waves and maybe going down only once and it was really fun to build confidence and get better in a in a well safe and not so scary environment like like this track and what we did at the end we actually set some lines we started at the top and walked all the way down to the bottom and said okay so we're gonna take the right eddy over here take the left eddy over there then we're gonna peel out to the right then we're gonna ferry over to the other side then we're gonna peel out and then we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do that so we sort of set out a whole line and then we went one by one and just tried to do that line and when I say try to do that line I really mean try to do that line it was at the end of the day guys and I don't know, I messed up like everything. How difficult was it? It was super hard. I like messed up the first eddy like straight away and it sort of spun me around so I had to do it again. How many do I have to? I had to do like four again? <laughs> wow. That was, that was actually more difficult than I anticipated. Wow. Oh, he's going swimming. Why not? Okay. So I'll take this eddy to the right. Oh! I hit my bow there. Fucked up. I'm gonna try and take this one to the right then. Gonna goof that up as well. 
Well, that's okay. Ferry to the other side. Wait for Alex to peel out. And we're gonna go peel in here as well. Take this eddy on the right as well. We're gonna miss that one too. Well, maybe not. Best run. Sort of made the eddy. I'm stuck here. Oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna pick up some speed over here. Such a terrible mistake. Guys, this is getting... So we needed to take this one on the left side, which I'm also not going to make. Guys, this is starting to be embarrassing. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. All right, let's go. Full send. Full send back into the eddy. Okay, so we're gonna try and take it a little bit more on the left side this time. That would be nice. Try maybe. Yeah! Oh my god, I messed up so hard. Yeah, it was embarrassing. So yeah. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm not really sure what happened. Everything just went wrong. I couldn't help it. As I said, it might have even be the last day that we could have gone out to pedal. Um, we'll see about that next week. The Prime Minister here in the Netherlands is releasing another press conference in which he's gonna say what's gonna happen. We all sort of think we will go back into a lockdown, but we'll see about that. Anyway, lockdown or no lockdown, I hope to see you on the water soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget, pedal on.